The fallout from sexual harassment allegations against casino mogul Steve Wynn is spreading to the other side of the world. The Macau government has met with a Wynn management complicating the future of permits up for renewal. The news is sending shares of Wynn resorts plunging for a second straight trading day. Joining us with more is Brian Egger, Bloomberg Intelligence senior gaming and lodging analyst. So Macau's gaming law stipulating that the reputation of the operator and its controlling shareholder is considered in the bidding process for licenses. So this could be huge for Win Macau. Yeah, so bear in mind that Win Macau operates with a concession that expires in 2022. Uh, now, historically, what the regulatory body in that nation state has cared about is the addition of non-gaming amenities that draw more non-casino participants to build up Macau as a non-gaming and entertainment destination. Uh, it remains to be seen how they will react to something that is arguably of a more personal nature, but has certainly raised the scrutiny with respect to U.S. regulators in Massachusetts and Nevada. And Macau is such an important part of the wind company overall, yes. but it wasn't just the concession in 2020. They were planning on expanding further in Macau, isn't that right? Is that so Macau in right now? now? Well, they, they have a flagship property on the peninsula, older part of Macau, and they have the uh, wind Kotai property, which opened up in late 2016. So they've actually got two operating properties and other competitors are also expanding in Kotai. So if you look at Wynn Resorts, the U.S. entity as a company, they get about 70 percent of their EBITDA from Macau, only 30 percent from Vegas. And that's why this is important to both investors in Wynn Resorts as well as Wynn Macau. So how strong is the relationship between Steve Wynn and his casinos? Like how much of the casinos sure. does Steve Wynn own? So Steve Wynn personally owns 12% of Wynn Resorts. Wynn Resorts in turn owns 72% of Wynn Macau. That's the nature of the relationship. Just as a sidebar here, uh, Elaine Wynn, his ex-wife, right. uh, owns another 9%. Right, but, but he doesn't get, does he vote those? She doesn't get to vote those shares, right? The 9%. Correct. Right. So, so, he's, so, so is it unusual at all for the Macau authorities to be saying, let's talk to you about this? Because the report today was they're in discussions. Uh, it's, it might be unusual, but it's also somewhat unprecedented. And for that matter, this follows the news on Friday that both the Nevada Gaming Commission and the Massachusetts Gaming Commission are looking at the chain of events to determine next steps. We don't know what those next steps will be. Uh, and I know we're talking about Macau, but I'm particularly concerned as a U.S. analyst about the gaming license in Massachusetts mm -hmm. and what these further investigations might bring.